Hey guys, welcome back to the Sensor Pop channel. What we have for you today is we're going to talk about the continuation of Bandai support when it comes to the European players, the European landscape. So if you have not heard just a couple of weeks ago, Bandai make, made an announcement and what they mentioned was that um, kind of pisses everybody off because uh, they, they, they come out and says that we are not, we're not supposed to import the cards we're not supposed to play with new cards when it comes to the tournament the problem is that bandai has not supported us in any tournaments so uh, but the silver lightning that i mentioned in the video if you have not seen the video it's gonna i'm gonna put down the link right here that's the one so uh, if you have not seen the video refer to the video but what i mentioned in the video at the end is that the silver lightning is i think what bandai is trying to do is that he they are trying to support the game but it's just that the whole execution was just done very very badly they're just trying to tell the european players that hey in upcoming official tournaments if you have cards that are imported from the states your cards are imported from elsewhere in the world they are not allowed to be used so that was what i mentioned before i end and it's kind of uh even though many european players are pissed off including me um we should look at that part and and be happy about it or be optimistic that the bandai at least i think bandai was trying to ramp up support when it comes to the european uh region so which was proven true because the next day what we have is that uh we have this maybe it's here because it's elongated so it should be here so uh, Bandai posted on their website or website was it website or was it on Facebook the tournament schedule when it comes to the European players so they mentioned hey dear European players this is what's going to happen and you have the tournament schedule and you could see that um, the, of the tournaments are official and then um, but then for the next few months until September if I believe I'm correct that what we have it's only we can play until uh, set 3 which is the cross war ex expansion so that means tournament of power is out set 4 it's out um, so any imported cards that we buy from elsewhere they will not be able to, we will not be able to play with them we can play with them with our unofficial tourneys with our casual play but on official tourneys we are not allowed to use them so fair enough that's fair and also there's another news that came out is that um just a couple of days ago bandai also releases their cards to the european European retailers. So what they're saying is that trying to get the European players to register with them so that they can be supplied with the Tony kits. So that's basically everything right now happens. It's just good news, good news, good news. But uh, if you take a look at the Tony kit, I do have a little bad news for all the players and when it comes uh, to, to the European players. So you know that Bandai loves to make products for regional specific. So for the US players, I think they're the luckiest one because they have the gift boxes, they have they have uh, all the beast, the the Goku that flew around Statue of Liberty, and that's like kind of so good, right? Because uh, that 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 particular Goku, of course, everybody says hey, it's a worse, it's not a good Sugash. But it is still a Sugesh that works after uh, after Konoha, Krona, Kronoa, after Kronoa it's being it's being released. So that Goku works. So what's the difference between a Goku and that Sugesh? Is that um, they're both Saiyans and Goku is such a bow, Sugesh is such a bow, it's just that when people play Kro, 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 Kronoa, um, you can't play Sugesh anymore, but that Goku is such a bow, super combo, so it's much better than Dodoria, and uh, that's that. That's what we have over there. But then, when it comes to European players, we do have something special too, but it's just not really good. So if you take a look at the promotion video uh, po poster that they put up for the retailers when in Europe, what you see is that on the side they put the promo packs that the European players are gonna get and hopefully that's that's basically set in stone because usually when 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 a product is featured in Bandai's promotion materials uh, you'll be pretty sure that they will be released but a promo pack that is specially made for the European players it's a little bit different so instead of having set one promo pack set two promo pack set three promo pack that you can see all the all, all some of the uh, cards that you're gonna get from the promo packs what you will be getting is 
just take a look. Uh, I think I'll put it right here. Um, you see promo pack one Broly. You see promo set three um, scientist full, and you see also Vegito, Vegito, and also uh, on the bottom. The reason why I can't say it directly on the spot is because I do not have the picture in front of me. It's from memory. So at the bottom, I think it's Super Saiyan Rose from set three. And if you take a look at the at, at the mention at the set statement that the the printed statement that's underneath, it's a promo pack from set one to set three. That basically means that um, all the promo cards, if we read this correctly, all the promo cards from set one to set three will be featured in this one promo pack. That is a problem because um, every single every single promo pack that we get, usually you have the great cards and then you have the not so good cards. And of course, everybody wants the foil and the non-foil. So every single tournament pack, you would have eight cards and uh, eight foiled and eight non-foiled. So you have eight different choices. Uh, your chances of getting a foiled good card, it's already pretty low because you have 16 cards and you need to get that one out of 16. Of course, uh, two out of 16, one out of eight, if you just want a card that can be playable. So for example, if you just want Bardock's uh, Whale of Iron, what you're gonna get is that you have two chances, out, uh, two out of 16, one out of eight chance of getting the card, but one out of 16 chance that that card will be foiled. But the problem with doing that when uh, Bandai combines everything, taking into account that if they're gonna put all the cards there inside, that means you have uh, one out of 24 chance, one out of 48 chance to get a foiled Whale of Iron, and to one out of 24 chance to get what uh, a Whale of Iron card. And if you want it in forward, like I mentioned, it's one out of 48 cards. So this is not, this is kind of like a good news, but it's a little bit bittersweet because uh, that means, hey, we have the promo packs, they are coming, yay, but our chances of getting the cards that we need will be much lower. I hope, what Bandai is going to do is that Bandai will compensate whatever it is with multiple packs. So when you go for tourneys, usually you get one pack and if you win, you get much more. I hope Bandai compensate that by releasing way more so that our chances are exponentially increased to get it. So when we go for tournaments, we are getting three packs or four packs just to compensate for this amount, this large amount of pool that it's gonna happen to the European players. All right, so that's the news for this week. So just to take just to take home that definitely we are right that Bandai, it's ramping up support when it comes to the European players. Hooray, it's just that we have to play with the uh, cross world cards. They set three until all the way until September. And uh, hopefully they will reduce the gap in between. That's gonna be good for all of us. Um, I mean the gap when it comes to releases. Hopefully, I don't know, right? But I'm, I'm just keeping hope. And uh, But the problem is, and we hope that we're gonna get more than one pack when we join the tourney, because the tournament packs for us, the promos, from what we see so far, it's speculation, but it's I think it's pretty clear what's gonna happen. Set one to set three, all the promo cards will be in one pack, and then we're gonna have a one out of 48 chance to get a void version of a card that we want.